First day of high school, new school, boundary exception. Maybe five people knew me, so I knew it was in my grasp. Total social transformation, and I was gonna use it. I wasn't gonna be the nerd with the dragon-covered paperback, because that summer I had discovered punk rock. It was the perfect mixture of loud music and being angry at the Bush administration, <laughs> and I was ready to build my identity on that. And I decided I was gonna make a big declaration first day, so went to the thrift store, got a leather jacket, not real leather, it was probably vinyl or some kind of discount couch material, got a pair of old combat boots, rolled my jeans up so people could see just how countercultural my ankles were. <laughs> and at the center of it all, a tall blue mohawk. Yeah. Sides of my head's totally sh head totally shaved, up in spikes. My mom helped me. I think she was just <laughs> excited to be included in the whole getting ready for school kind of thing. And I got there. And I walked into the hallway ready to meet these new people, and was suddenly terrified. I realized how big of an imposter I was, and here were a bunch of social piranhas ready to skeletonize me in four and a half minutes the second they sensed fear. I saw the other skateboarders, punk rock kids, and quietly insinuated myself with them. I tried to assume a look of I was born smoking. I was nursed on buzzsaw guitar, and I am above ask, being asked any questions about that. Just trying to look inconspicuous while dressed in the most conspicuous way possible. So midway through orientation that first day, one of the other punk kids turns to me and he goes, man, this new class is full of posers. And I go, ah. Uh. <laughs> and he goes, yeah, you're like one of the only real punks who's here. And I go, ah. <laughs> the Mohawk lasted two months. The leather jacket, maybe two months longer than that. And four years later, as I was graduating and people were getting reflective. One of my best friends in high school, who ended up being my college roommate, turned to me and said, hey, you remember that scary kid who had the mohawk? <laughs> Whatever happened to that guy? <laughs> Thank you.